Welcome to our weekly news quiz, brought to you by Housemart.net. Get ready for a roller coaster of trivia as we dive into this week's headlines. Let's a go. Question 1. Which U.S. president was the first ever to be arrested and face criminal charges? Was it Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, or Richard Nixon? It's Donald Trump, duh. The grand jury in New York indicted him on 34 counts, all while he's running for president in 2024. He was arrested on April 4th, pleaded not guilty and was released without bail. For history's sake, Nixon resigned, Clinton was disbarred, but neither was arrested. Next question, how did the world learn about the US plans to help Ukraine fend off a Russian offensive in 2023? Was it a Russian hacker, a Discord user, or a CIA agent who left his briefcase in Starbucks? Amazingly, a Discord user leaked classified documents in a gamer's chat room. An anonymous poster shared the classified documents, which were then posted on social media and picked up by major news outlets. Who knew the fate of global security could be revealed alongside memes, cheats, and game strategies? Moving on, when was the Dalai Lama born? Was it the year Disneyland opened, the year World War II ended, or the year the world's first parking meter was installed? It was 1935, the year of the first parking meter. The Dalai Lama recently apologized for an awkward tongue-sucking incident with a boy. In a viral video, His Holiness hugged the boy, kissed his lips, and even asked him to suck his tongue. With all the wisdom of his 87 years, he's still learning about boundaries. Next question. Which island nation was once known as Formosa and is now home to this fierce Formosan black bear? Is it Taiwan, Sri Lanka, or Poland? Welcome to Taiwan, home to the Formosan black bear, which is now being used to symbolize defiance against China's military drills. In recent news, a patch depicting a Formosan black bear holding Taiwan's flag and punching Winnie the Pooh, representing China's President Xi Jinping, has become viral online. Sorry Pooh fans. And not entirely unconnected, where is Elon Musk building Tesla's new factory to make mega packs? Is it Mexico, Russia, or China? If you guessed the big C, you're correct. Elon Musk is heading to Shanghai to build Tesla's new factory for Megapacks. The factory will annually produce 10,000 Megapacks. These are Tesla's energy storage products that stabilize energy grids and can light up thousands of homes. Because who wouldn't want that? On to a different corner of the world. Which of these is false about Finland's Sanna Marin? Was she once the world's youngest leader? Did she oppose Finland's NATO entry? Or was she videoed having too much fun at a party? Sanna Marin actually led Finland's NATO entry. She was indeed the world's youngest leader and partied like one too. In 2022, a video emerged of Marine letting loose, but hey, who hasn't danced and sang after navigating through a pandemic? Golf fans, we have two questions for you. At the 2023 Masters, John Rahm became the first what? Was he the first player to win on his birthday, Spaniard to win, or European to win the Masters and the US Open? Well, John Rahm became the first European to win both the Masters and the US Open. He also became the fourth Spaniard to win the Masters, and he did it on the late Sebe Ballesteros' 66th birthday, making it a day of celebration for Spanish golf. Still on the field, in 2019, what did Tiger Woods achieve at the Masters? Was he the first six-time Masters winner, the second oldest Masters winner, or the first Masters winner with a broken leg? Tiger Woods roared back in 2019 as the second oldest Masters winner, snatching his fifth green jacket. The oldest, Jack Nicklaus at 46. Tiger's still recovering from a 2021 car crash but showed up at the 2023 Masters, only to withdraw before the third round. On to some magic, how many books are in J.K. Rowling's original Harry Potter series? Is it 5, like Neville's first year Gryffindor points, 7, 1 for each Hogwarts year, or 8, 1 for each movie? 
There are seven magical books, one for each of Harry's Hogwarts years. Warner Brothers and HBO Max are now brewing a seven-season streaming TV series with Rowling as a producer, though some fans find this idea less than enchanting due to Rowling's views on transgender issues. Still in showbiz, who is the CEO of Endeavor Group Holdings, owner of UFC? Is it Ari Gold, Ram Emanuel, or Ari Emanuel? The real-life inspiration for Entourage's Ari Gold, Emanuel announced a whopping $21 billion deal to buy WWE and merge it with UFC. His brother Ram, by the way, is the former mayor of Chicago and a White House chief of staff. Now, which Italian-American Plumber Brothers star in a 2023 animated film based on a popular video game franchise? Is it the pizza-making plumbers, the Super Mario Brothers, or the inferior Luigi Brothers? It's the Super Mario Brothers. Mario and Luigi's animated film smashed records with a whopping $377 million worldwide opening weekend. The movie also hints at a sequel with a Yoshi egg. Mamma Mia! Next question, where is this image from? Is it The Mandalorian's third season, the music video for Lizzo and Jack Black's duet, or the upcoming Spaceballs reboot? Lizzo and Jack Black guest starred as the Duchess and Captain Bombardier of Pleasure 15 in The Mandalorian Season 3. Proving that even in a galaxy far, far away, Hollywood can't resist putting its A-listers on the small screen. Now what's the common link between Netflix's Extraction and the Avengers franchises? Is it Chris Hemsworth, The Russos, and Sam Hargrave, Chris Hemsworth with a hammer, or graphic novels by the same authors? After working together on the Avengers franchise, the Marvel team reunited for Netflix's Extraction, with Hemsworth playing a mercenary, The Russos writing and producing, and Hargrave directing. Extraction 2 is set to hit Netflix on June 16, 2023. And finally, who is the ruthless patriarch of the media mogul family in HBO's succession? Is it Logan Roy, Connor Roy, or Rupert Murdoch? It's Logan Roy, and if you haven't seen this episode yet, feel free to skip away. Brian Cox portrays the cunning CEO of Waystar Oiko, with his kids fighting for his throne. Spoiler alert, Logan met his end in Succession's final season, making way for a Royale Rumble. And that wraps up our news quiz. If you aced it, congratulations, you're smarter than this anchor. Check out HowSmart.net for more quizzes and news trivia. Stay sharp.